I could kiss her now. A Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Koru on Pixiv. I will have a link to Koru's Pixiv in the description box. Please enjoy I Could Kiss Her Now. Adrian Crest as Cat Noir. Cat Noir palmed the butterfly miraculous as he sat waiting for Ladybug. Perhaps this ending made sense. The thread of fate he'd unraveled led him to this moment, staring at the lights of his city as citizens bustled below him. They didn't know what he'd given up. They didn't know he'd broken the cycle of terror they suffered from. They didn't know this might be his last night as Cat Noir. Kitty? Ladybug landed beside him, her smile stiff as she crossed her arms. She didn't have time for this, or so she thought. I didn't, LB. Oh, no. She sighed and looked at the sky. What now? Here. He held out their arch nemesis's miraculous and studied her face as her emotions slipped across. Confusion. Recognition. Surprise. Shock. Denial. Suspicion. Cat. Her eyes stayed locked on the brooch. It's real. Take it. Ladybug stared, swallowed, then looked at him. It's real, she whispered. It's real, he confirmed. He'd expected questions and shouting and maybe even some tears, but Ladybug stood and stared at the brooch, emotions dropping off her face until their features were no more than a canvas. Oh. Oh. Ladybug? I need a moment. Silence stretched between them as Cat wondered how to paint his next words. Hey, he tried. And that was it. At the sound of his voice, Ladybug closed the distance between them, throwing her arms around his shoulders as she pulled himself to him. Cat, she gasped. I know. Cat hesitated, then reached up and placed a hand on her back. I know. Oh, Cat Noir! She stepped back, looking down to see the brooch in his hand while keeping herself wrapped around his shoulders. Cat! I know, he repeated. The relief in her voice made him want to cry, which was the first wave of emotion since getting the miraculous from his father. This overbearing numbness made him feel like he wasn't a soul in a body, but something about Ladybug brought him back to Earth for the briefest of moments. Parisville, we can... This is... I know. He pulled her back to him, and she tucked her head into the nape of his neck. This is real, right? Yes. Cat, how did you... She didn't finish her question, but he couldn't bear to answer. Does this mean I have to give you my ring back? He felt her inhale sharply, the breath passing along his jawline like a winter breeze. What? She stepped back eyes glassy. It's what we've talked about. It's a good thing he felt numb right now, else he'd never be able to bring this up with an even tone. Right. Ladybug hesitated, then frowned. But then, how would I ever find you again? You want that? You want to stay in touch? Her body trembled in response. I... Cat, is that really all you think of me? What do you mean? Cat, I... 
She looked back at the sky, rubbing her eyes like the way she rubbed his back moments ago. No, no, I don't want that. Really? It was too early to hope. He'd laid down dreams on her casual comments before, and every time the world he built was a fantasy in his head. You're okay with staying as Ladybug and Cat Noir, even without a hawk moth? Yes. The way she hugged herself stabbed his heart. Yes, I want you, Cat. Of all the miraculous and everyone who uses them, you're the one I want to stay. There it was again. A casual comment a man could build dreams on. I want to stay too. Great. Great. A moment ticked by as thoughts brushed her face. You thought I wanted you to give up the ring once we were done with all of this? I don't know. She'd gone back and forth on their identities being a secret identity, so who could predict what would happen if there wasn't a nemesis anymore? Oh, kitty. Ladybug closed the distance a second time and cupped his face in her hands. You'll always be Cat Noir to me. I could kiss her now. The thought came intrusive and traitorous, without warning. Cat reached up to remove her hands, unable to trust himself when she touched him so intimately. He wanted her. She knew that. If she wanted to kiss him, she'd have done so already. If he tried, the pressure of the situation might coerce her, and they'd both end up regretting it. Thanks, Ladybug. Cat? It's been a long night. He pushed the brooch into her hand. I'll see you when I see you. She grabbed his wrist as he turned to leave, frowning. Cat, hold on. Yes. Cat stepped back to her, and once again, the thought came back to him. I could kiss her now. But he shouldn't. Wouldn't. Cat? Her tone changed, and he knew she knew. Ladybug knew what was on his mind, and he hated himself for it. He hated how he couldn't be close to her, as partners, without thinking about how close he wanted to be with her. Sorry. He looked at the shingles instead of her eyes. I didn't mean to. Mean to... What? It's been a long night. I'm gonna go, and we can talk about the brooch in the morning. Her grip around his wrist tightened. Cat, wait! Yes? He sighed. She bit her lip, which did nothing to help him, and sighed. Well, um... Yes, Ladybug. Can I... She cut herself off and scrunched her face. Oh, no, that's not what I... Ugh! A ladybug? Warning bells went off in his mind. Are you... Ladybug pressed her mouth to his before he could finish his question. Eyes squeezed shut as she all but yanked him to her. Truthfully, her lips landed closer to his chin than he would have liked... But he wasn't about to critique her. All sense left him as he reached around her shoulder, fingers weaving into the hair at the nape as he placed their second kiss onto her lips before closing his eyes as well. Oh. This is a kiss. On the night he'd sacrificed his father to take down his nemesis, Ladybug kissed Cat Noir. Ladybug kissed Cat Noir. Is this how it's supposed to go? He'd been prepared to give up everything, his family, his ring, but now he was on a rooftop, lips warm and ring on. 
Had he lost anything at all? Ladybug. Cat pulled himself away, out of breath. I appreciate it. I, 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 I do. But you don't have to do this. Her hands reached for his collar, and she tugged him into another kiss. No, Cat. She breathed into his teeth. I really do. The numbness of the night wore away with every peppered kiss, their mouths fighting with each other until they learned how to dance. Thank you, Cat said, sliding his forehead into the nape of her neck as they caught their breath. Anxiety crept in as she patted his head instead of responding. Oh, it'd been a mistake. A moment of passion, or curiosity, or an improper coping mechanism. <sighs> Wanna, um, get dinner? Or, or, or something? He laughed, feeling silly at the panic in his chest. Like, to celebrate? It's sure. Are we gonna talk about us? Her hand stilled, wrapped in his hair. Um, okay. Cat straightened, smiling down at his partner as his chest all but glowed. He wasn't numb anymore, but that meant the pain of his father suffocated him from elaborating. But he could kiss her now. If her way of celebrating taking down their arch nemesis was kisses and dinner, then he might make it through processing what happened between him and his father today without shutting down entirely. Dinner is good. This is a good ending. Somehow, the thread of fate he'd unraveled led him to this moment gazing into Ladybug's eyes as his citizens bustled below him. They didn't know what he gained tonight. They didn't know he'd broken the cycle of terror they suffered from. They didn't know this was a night of new beginnings for Cat Noir. This is a good ending. After everything, it ends like it began, with a Ladybug and Cat Noir. Thank you so much for listening. That was the Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction titled I Could Kiss Her Now. If you like fanfiction or you want to experience more fanfiction, check out this channel. Plenty is on it. Or check out these videos. If you're still listening and haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe, hit the bell, smash that bell, and leave a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm to promote this video to other viewers. If you aren't sure what to comment, put Ladybug and Cat Noir or comment This Is A Good Ending. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!